What's up, Joneses? I'm Man, and I'm here with Scott and James. And tonight we are Jonesing on peanut butter whiskey. So what I have here is screwball. Uh, we tried screwball whiskey. We did an episode about it. You got a chance to try it. Yep. You had a chance to try it. What did you think about it? It was uh, it's surprisingly. Surprisingly, right? Yeah. It wasn't super peanut buttery. Uh, it was a little hint of peanut butter, a little sweet, but it was tolerable. What do you think? Yeah. You can agree with it? It was pretty good. Tastes so, like peanut butter, of course. Uh, in the episode, I mentioned that. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah, I, I, I mentioned that peanut butter whiskey was the latest craze. So, I'm going to pour us a little, a little bit of peanut butter whiskey. Don't drink it yet. But, because this is the latest craze, there's several different peanut butter whiskeys out there. One of them is like PB&W, which I've heard bad things about PB&W. But, I found Sheepdog peanut butter. So, I got us a couple minis, and I figured, hey, we can do a head-to-head -head and call this the mini episode. So, I'm going to pour us each a... Sheepdog, and I guess we'll start with the sheepdog because the sheepdog is the one that we haven't tried. And then what we'll do is compare. Oh, well, I could have did it all with one bottle, huh? Well, I got another one in case we need to go back to it. We'll compare and say which one's the best. All right. So that's the the peanut butter challenge, and it is gonna get a little sticky because it's on it's on the board now. So uh, let's do a let's do a nosing. Now this one smells like. It smells more like more buttery. Peanut. It smells buttery. Yeah, and, and the peanut butter odor is strong. Now, I guess it's called, probably because of the glen. The glen traps it in, and this opens it all the way out. So let's uh, clink them and drink them, and let's, let's taste Sheepdog. Now, Sheepdog is, it says um, 70 proof, and it's got woof. W-O-O-F is marked out with a P-W. So I think that's 35, and Screwball is 35. Yep. So proof is the same. Now, I will say, I won't, I'm, I'm not going to discuss price yet. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna taste them off the mirror first. Um, what did y'all think about first sip? I think it tastes, it doesn't taste as strong like peanut butter taste as the other, but it, it literally has like a butter taste, like okay. a buttery taste. Yeah, I, I get that. What do yeah, you think? I agree. More more buttery and less right, peanut butter. Right. I think this has more heat to it. Now both of them are seventy proof. Let's uh, let's uh, we should have got water to sip in between. Let's taste the screwball. Definitely more peanut buttery. More peanut buttery. Would you would you agree? More oh, peanut yeah, butter for sure, for sure. What about that the the heat? And when I when I say heat, I always say like uh, there's two. I, I put two categories: heat and burn. Heat is the intensity that you feel in your mouth. Burn is when it goes down into your into your windpipe, into your chest. Which has the most burn? I would say the uh, the sheepdog kind of seems like it does for me. Sheepdog. What about for you? I think so. Yeah. I think this has more a little bit, a little bit more on the back end. Yeah. This is kind of now that I've had them side by side. This is kind of peppery a little bit oh, yeah. on the tongue. You know, you kind of feel it just kind of dance around your tongue. This is more alcoholy. Like it, I would think this is this would be if I tasted them without knowing the proof. You'd I would think this is strong. Yeah. This is the stronger of the two. Yeah. Okay. Um. Anybody need more sips? It looks like we're probably good. You want more sheepdog? You need any more to, to compare? No, a little bit. A little bit more? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, you need more sheepdog? Or uh, more, um, you, you good? Yeah, you, I'm good. You, you peanut buttered up. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Um, let's talk which one smells the best. We're in two different glasses. But I think I get the aroma pretty clear. So, uh, without saying, I want you to grab both glasses in your hand. 
and raise the glass that you think smells the best. Okay. All right. Uh, put them down. Which glass? Raise the glass of the one that has the most heat. Okay. Uh, raise the glass of the one that you think tastes the best. Raise the glass of the one that you think is the most expensive. Yeah. All right. So, Cheap Dog is 15 bucks, 14.99. And Screwball is in your 20 range. I'll put the price down below, but I definitely I think it's 20 something. Uh, but there's definitely a, a price gap between the two. But I think you taste it. Uh, I feel like overall, this is a better product. This is not bad. Well, I think, uh, I mean, I know this is, it says peanut butter, but this stuff has more peanut butter flavor Definitely. than this. This really has like a buttery flavor. This, if you like butter, I mean, if you, you're one of those people, like you got to have butter on like everything. Like, I think this, this is, this is good. I well, mean, you, they're both good, but... As far as peanut butter, it's definitely, definitely this, and the sheepdog is definitely more of a butter flavor. Not so much. There's not a lot of peanut there. One thing I'll say is, on the screwball, it says contains peanuts. On this one, there's nothing about containing peanuts. Which this is the mini bottle, but I've looked at the big bottle too, and I don't think the big bottle says contains peanuts either. Well, so if you got peanut allergies. You don't want to drink this. You don't want to drink this one. You, you want to go with this one. Well, don't now, drink I, I, anything with peanut butter. Right, right, right. Don't, I, I would say if you got peanut out, just skip it all together. Um, but judging off the mini bottle, I don't think the mini bottle says made with peanuts. And because of that, I would wager that this is a, has a peanut butter flavoring that's a little more artificial, a little more buttery, less like peanut butter. And this has real peanuts. Real, this tastes almost like roasted peanuts, kind of. Oh, exactly. And so this has a more authentic peanut butter flavor. So in my opinion, and I, all of us, we agree, the best peanut butter is screwball. Cool? For sure, for sure yeah. Now, yeah, I guess we need to maybe drink some more and try and mix them, make peanut butter jellies and all that stuff, but we'll, we'll save those for later. Sounds good? All right. Well, guys, thank y'all for joining me on this episode. Um, and be sure to subscribe. Catch us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Jones and Man. Any closing remarks? No, clink them and drink them. Clink them and drink them. And we'll peanut butter next time.